There's two different modes in this thing, yeah. in-laws and strippers, you know? What more <laughs> can you ask for? That might be my intro right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> What is up, everybody? I'm doing a vlog. Well, this man needs no introduction on my channel, at least. But this is Steven Stolp. Howdy, folks. Good part, to see y'all. Part owner? Can part, I say yeah. part, part owner? Yeah, I'm one of the founders of Sandy Vans. Founders of Sandy Vans. We're going to actually step into one of their creations, which is behind us. But I want to let everybody know this is a beautiful creature down here. This is actually Stolp's dog. That's uh, Chevy. Chevy. Middle, middle name El Camino. Uh, he's based off the fact that I sold all my Chevys to uh, buy a Sprinter. So, <laughs> he's my last Chevy. Beautiful. All right, we're going to get into the whole tour right now. Here we go. You want to start on the outside there, buddy? Yeah. We can. So, we got we actually have a crowd behind us, everybody. So, if there's a little bit of background noise, it's, let's not mind them. Um, but, Stolp, you've got uh, Sandy Vans. Yes, sir. So, Stolp Solutions is no more. All the ambulance, all that cool stuff that I was known for on the channel previously right, is done. Uh, I am full blown with Sandy Vans 100% beyond full time, I'll say, because, you know, as a business owner, everybody works over full time. So this is what we're doing now. We're making vans fast, but they're also at a good price and a good quality. And that's why I'm here to show you today. Sandy Vans, part of one of Sandy Vans' amazing things that you offer is why we're starting outside is because you offer a lot of stuff on the outside. Absolutely, so we do full exterior suite on uh, all Sandy Vans and we also offer those products for DIYers out there. So if you want side steps, rear racks, bumpers in the future. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say you work on the bumpers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Having your, your fabricator, yeah. Yeah, roof rack, all that stuff. Uh, we're, everything for 2019 and newer Sprinter vans, side steps or even for earlier vans, we'll get into all that. But uh, yeah, we're offering all these products for all the DIYers out there. And if you come by our facility, we'll install everything for free. All right, so where are you located? Because you just said, come by my facility. Right here in Miramar, heart of San Diego. So we are right in the middle of San Diego, California. Sprinter Mecca, if you will. Ah. Seems like everybody's got one around here. Here at our new facility, we're offering everything as far as service, parts, obviously our exterior parts, and uh, yeah, we're here to make camping in a van a lot easier for you. So come on by, check it out. Before we step inside, did you want to show off this? Because I, I haven't seen this box yet on camera yet. Oh yeah, we can start with the boost box. This is the boost box, everyone. Uh, the boost box is named after uh, kiting. So all of my business partners, they're all kite surfers. Um, I am a mountain biker BMXer, so this isn't really interesting to me, but for people that snowboard, ski, all that, this is a huge box that it's you put on the back of your van. It's massive, dude. It's so big. Yeah, it's, this one's actually a little, it's been used, so there's a little bit of dirt in there. I've seen, right. I've seen people put stuff like firewood in here, surfboards, wakeboards, skis, just anything that you don't want to put inside your van, you have this massive storage box in the back. And we have three sizes. We have a mini one, which is about half this. And then we have the regular one, which is comes about here. And then this is the full tall that takes up the full door. Bolts onto our starboard rack. So that is one of the racks that we offer as well. So we have a port rack and a starboard rack on the back of the van. If you guys don't uh, know Nautical it, terms. Nautical terms. There you I'm go. A military veteran, Navy six years. So I like to throw in a little bit of nautical stuff. And these things are kind of like boats anyway. So. All right, so you have your starboard, which is this side, which yeah, everybody so is right, by the way. <laughs> right, yeah, starboard right, <laughs> port left. So right here, you can see our Sandy Vans logo. And then this rack, uh, this rack is very similar to this one. It's got a bunch of uh, l track compatible mounting points, so you can put on all tread, fuel cans, shovels, whatever you want on the back of your van. We uh, also are a distributor for Kuat bike racks. So we Which like is behind you. Oh, yeah, we do have one on this one. Yeah, so, so we put uh, these sweet Kuat bike racks on. I really like them. Um, much better than the previous competitor. I won't talk trash, but <laughs> it's a very high quality product. Uh, we really like Kua. Can I put like a heavy e-bike on that? Yeah, so uh, the rack itself, we allow 100 pounds on this rack, 150 pounds on the starboard rack. Okay. Um, so yeah, you could put an e-bike there. I've put my Sur on on the back of this, which don't do as Probably a customer, don't do. but <laughs> as a product tester, I have successfully driven around with a Sur on, on the back of one of these. I don't know if you could tell, but this is the first drillless 
driver's side rack for the back of a Sprinter van. And if you look right here, this is actually bolted to the license plate mount. Oh, wow. So there's no holes in your door on either of these racks. This goes through the factory holes with the Mercedes logo, and then this goes through obviously the factory holes of the license plate. So, so it's bolted you, in there good is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's very sturdy. Like I said, 100 pounds. <laughs> I'm like 180. Before we get to that side ladder, I want to show you a really hot item. Believe it or not, this is the hottest item we have. Just kidding. I really like it though. This is the shore power bracket right here. Oh geez, I'm gonna so, go under under and see this. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. So as a common trend throughout our vans, you notice there's no utility hookups on the outside that you can see. Right. Because I don't like the very RV-esque looking rigs with all the hookups and vents on the side. So on all of our Sandy vans, we really try to hide those things like where you fill up your tank, where you plug it in. So yeah, let's check out this side ladder. So this is our side ladder, also compatible with L-Track mounts, so you could put stuff on the side. We are working on a surfboard rack, so that's probably going to come early next year, I would say. And the reason it's designed like this, because we could flat pack ship it to you, um, very compact, so you're not paying a million dollars to have something shipped to you. Not a giant ladder, but it does take some assembly. Right, it's so it's just, fun. yeah, it's just, uh, that, that's how, you, so it's cut in half pretty much. Absolutely. That's genius. Yeah, yeah like you that. just like kind of bolt it all together, kind of like a record set. All the sets. steps you put together. Yeah, too. everything, everything you kind of just bolt in. So it, it does ship very small. Wow. Yeah. So yet again, this is very sturdy product. <laughs> this is also leading us up to the sandbar roof rack. Sandbar roof rack, that's what it's called? Sandbar roof rack. Nice. So this roof rack right here, all of our products are very light. This roof rack is, I, I think, under 60 pounds. Wow. I shouldn't think, I know. It's under 60 pounds. <laughs> so also the boost box on the back is 48 pounds. Wow. Um, so everything's very light. I have a huge background in construction, but also automotive stuff. So, so what is it, powder coated aluminum? Powder coated aluminum. Everything's aluminum on the outside of this thing. And uh, the, the big thing is we, we're really concerned about weight here. Yeah. Uh, a full, bolt, full built sandy van weighs about 200 or 2,400 pounds with exterior wheels, all that stuff. So you're on like, top of yeah, that's a solid, like another 2,000 under the GSR. Exactly. Whatever, whatever so you can is. still tow with your rig. Yeah. You don't have to, you don't have to upgrade your suspension, but we are working on something. I'm not allowed to say, but um, does this have an upgraded suspension? This does not have an upgraded okay. suspension. And as you can see, it's not squatting. It's sitting not at all. exactly how it's supposed to sit. It actually drives better after it's built out than when we first get the van. Well, that's what the, these are designed to have. They're meant to them. have some weight and yeah. we try to meet that weight requirement that these are supposed to ride at. On the roof, I believe you have your solar panels. I can see right here. Yeah, we have one 175 watt solar panel. Okay. We also have our decking panels up there. Cool. This also has a AC on oh, this cool. van. So yeah, we, we could do fan, AC, all that stuff. Even though it's a 144, we don't have to sacrifice a ton of space because we got this modular roof rack and it's very easy to put the panels where we want them and, and all that stuff. This is a Sandy Van side step. This is a driver's side. We'll talk more about the passenger side here in a minute, but you can see very simple product. Um, it's just nice, got a little grip to it. The, the coating itself has a little bit of texture to it as well. So this stuff is pretty grippy. And then you can see that we have two inch holes cut out. We're gonna go over the passenger side. And I'm gonna show you what that is. Back to the whole not wanting to drill holes in the side of the van. This is where you fill up your water tank on your Sandy van right here. There's a little valve back here, so if you won't get backflow after you fill up. So you just undo the valve on the back side, fill it up. The Red Arc system, which you'll see later, you can check on your phone your tank levels. And then as you fill up, you can just monitor on your phone. There's also an overflow, so as you're filling, after it's full, you'll see some water come out on the ground. That's how you know your van's all filled up with fresh water. And then do you have a, yeah, what's that other, like, yeah, what's that? This right here, this is like kind of a winterization tool, also a filler for dog bowls or a foot washer. This is the drain for your tank. Nice. So if you're going to a really cold area, you could drain out your whole 20 gallon water tank. Yeah, you want to wash your feet or if Chevy needs a sip of water, there it you is. Know, there it is. Until you guys come up with your own bumper design, which I can't wait to see, you have been using, uh, looks like a CA-tuned bumper. CA-tuned. I really like CA-tuned. 
Um, bumpers, I really like the simplistic look of it. I, I don't like, you know, a lot on the front of these things. Sure. I also don't like a lot of weight. This bumper is pretty heavy. Ours will be a lot lighter, but I do really love the aesthetic look of these CA tune bumpers. Also, uh, we have the Smitty Built winch on the inside of this thing. And it's a beast. It's pretty great. I'm not sure if the customer will ever use any of this stuff, but it's there. It's an ultimate get out of, you know, crap absolutely places. <laughs> i don't know if he's gonna go to those places but we'll see um but this is an all-wheel drive sprinter so so without further ado let's, let's check out the inside in. of this thing so this van is called lieutenant van taylor lieutenant van taylor yes and uh this one has legs though for all you forrest oh. gump fans <laughs> so we'll start out right here we have a gold kitchen situation i'm My gonna actually um can we shut that door? We're gonna we're gonna yeah. sweat a little bit, but well, we can turn on the AC. And then give me a minute while the lighting corrects itself. All right, yeah, we're gonna yeah. So we just shut the door so we could get better lights for you guys. And now I guess Stephen wants to put on a light show for me. So I want to show you how you could change the whole look of a van just based off lighting alone. Okay. So let's say you and the wife got the in-laws over. You know, you're trying to impress father-in-law. You want to be a classy guy, so you put on the classy lights. You know. Very clean, very sophisticated in here. You got your dark woods, your golds, your classy guy. Father-in-law is stoked that you are with his daughter. In-laws leave. You get you get mood light. We get the stripper lights going. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry, YouTube, if if that's not allowed, but uh, <laughs> it gets the people going. It's the vibe. This is this is a vibe, yeah. as the kids say. Um, but yeah, and then also with the Red Arc system, all this lighting is dimmable as well. So you just hold it with your phone along with the app on your cell phone. Um, you can dim the lights as well. So whatever part of the van you're in, you can dim the lights. Yeah, we're going to keep all the lights on for everybody to get the best viewing purpose. Yeah, there you go. I'll, all the lights. And then I'll turn that fan on because it's going to get a little it's funky. It's going to get a little hot in here. It's going to get a little funky. One thing I'd like to talk about since we were just talking about the sink area is you leave your water pump on in a van and let's say you get a leak. Your pump is going to continuously run until you have no water left. Your van's flooded, you're upset, you're calling up your builder, you're like, what the heck? So on all sandy vans, I have an indicator light right here. So at this toe kick on the sink side, whenever your water pump is on, it is illuminated. This is just a general reminder to your clients is to keep the, keep the pump off when you don't need it. Just below here, we have a 12 volt water heater. Oh, nice. Maybe cover up that name. No, I'm just nah. kidding. <laughs> you can buy those off of us, no problem. But a uh, 12 volt water heater, a uh, very, very small draw on that. So this whole system is DC and it, it works very great with the uh, 412 amp hours of lithium that we have. We're gonna get into that. I can't wait to show that off because yeah. that is a, that's a Stolp special right there. Stolp special, baby. Um, you got a big leaf that pops up. Yeah, that's so just this, for... this is a full counter. And then, you know, me being the wood guy I am, I'm not just using CNC, guys. Uh, this is all hand cut. So this actually has soft close bracket hinges on it. So they're they're a lot less clunky than the standard ones. That's nice. um, when you have a lighter counter, like a three quarter, it actually does close slow, but since this is heavy, it's more just so it's not noisy when you're driving. Because cool. if you've ever had one of these before, they're pretty, pretty loud. Now for those that actually know uh, Sandy Vans, um, they know that this is your standard layout. This is your first layout. Yes. This yes. This is called the, which one is this? So one? this is the social layout. The so, social. So the social layout, this is a layout catered to those that go to the beach. They, they, they got friends, they're entertaining. Um, you could open up the whole back. This actually centerpiece comes right out. Oh, oh come, come on. on. Dude. Oh, um, damn you. <laughs> this centerpiece, like all this slides out very easily okay um so then your whole back is open you can even move this seat right here have a c bench looking out the back a c s e a or c whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. uh, you can open that up if you want and kind of show maybe what the what, what it would look yeah. not like that whole thing but you can open the back door i'm saying oh yeah yeah so you could see hopefully there's too much not too much light coming through there there might be a lot of light coming through we'll see that's all right we can get some more in here no, that's good. Just one. Uh, that's fine. Just one? Yeah, why not? Make okay. it make it make cool. it a thing. It's actually interesting. I didn't see that before, by the way. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but 
So we have the social, which is this, like I said, entertaining friends, you're going to the beach, you know, you can live in these full-time. We have clients that do, but this is not really catered to a full-time van lifer. This is more to people that want to go camping for like, be out off grid maybe five days or something like that. Um, but then we have the scout, which is It's same. actually my favorite. I'm sorry. I don't well, interrupt the, you. But. The scout suite. Yeah. It's uh, basically, this is the same in the front, but then we have a sliding bed platform, a fixed bed that slides over here. We still have a seating area right here as well. So that one will be rolling out a lot more of those. I actually have one that's about to be done tomorrow. That's the second layout. And then the third layout is a sport Murphy bed situation. Don't have a lot to talk about on that yet, but later, maybe I would say February, I'll be able to show you all a lot more about the sport layout. And now because lighting loves me so much, we're actually, we're probably gonna have to shut that. We're gonna but, close the door. Okay. Yeah. My bad, everybody, my bad. Back to the layouts though. Um, every layout has the option for the fan van package. Fan van. And that's when we cut this in half and then we have a Fenton fold down seat. So then you could have four people legally sitting in the van while you're in transit and then the seat flips up and then you have the full area for camping. Oh. The, the Scout will have a sleeping area here along with the sliding bed. The Social has a huge king size bed with the option of a rooftop tent. Wow. So we're trying to cater to the families and also, yeah, just, just trying to have a little bit something for everyone. Well, Sandy Vans, is, you guys have grown a lot over the last 12 months. Yeah, I like to say that we're growers, not showers. You okay, know? you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, not only that, I mean, this is a great way to plug that you guys just moved into a brand new shop that I'm not gonna show because it's not fully done yet. Yeah, we got the keys uh, to our new facility. It's about four times the size of our previous facility. Um, little scary, but I'm <laughs> confident in my team and myself to uh, make this happen. Um, but yeah, we're, we're pushing out three vans a month right now. About to have a launch party. I might be out here for it. We're going to find out. The cabinetry I'm really actually intrigued by because it's like, it's like covered with what? So this is all laminate. So okay. the great thing, the great thing about coming to a company like this is we build so many of these vans. So like, let's say you damage your cabinetry or something like that. I could literally ship you a, a new door right. like very quickly. So not just warranty in the actual like systems, but I could warranty all these faces and stuff pretty easily. And the client can pick whatever color, whatever style. Yeah, so we're narrowing things down to just three different color options. Okay. Right now it's a little like, I'm, I'm rounding it up, you know, I'm yeah. basically figuring out exactly what people like and then I'm gonna have three different color options, three different layouts, 25 different customizable features per layout. So you'll get the custom appeal, but you won't wait two months for your van. It, we have a two week turnaround. So. And before we get to the kitchen galley, uh, this was a client request, I presume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, just a chessboard. Uh, this is the Queen Gambit just, van. Just yeah, just a epoxy thing. Uh, I don't even think my, my friend got this van, so uh, that's why I'm talking a little smack. <laughs> I don't think Jimmy has played chess once in his life. No, but he's like, I want a chessboard. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm yeah, it's lie. very cool. It's very cool. I was yeah, going to magnetize it. Yeah, I was going to magnetize it, but this van was only built in about 13 days. Okay. So I didn't have time to inlay magnets and stuff. Maybe but, maybe on your next one. Yeah, but yeah, yet again, folks, this van was built in 13 days. So that gives you an idea of what we're doing here at Sandy Vans, giving you a good aesthetic. And you could vouch for me, Jared. It doesn't just look good on camera. It looks good in person, It does. Too, the build quality is great. I'm going to bang my fist on yeah. just a random table, but... Build quality is great. It's uh, it's done well. Not only is this done in 13 days, you guys challenge yourselves to build a van in 24 hours. Yeah, you can check the video on that one. So we actually did it, not to brag, in 20 and a half hours. That wasn't fun, but we got it done. But it was fun. No, it was fun, but not it's fun. It's fun after, Yeah. but during was uh, quite a nightmare. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we really made it happen. And that was yet again to show that we have systems and processes in place. We don't just build one van. We, we really think about what we're building before we build it, and then that's how we're able to do what we do here. Kind of like a gutted when we had that awesome time out of gutted. Everybody. Five days in a RV that was <laughs> not build really hard to build in. The shower was an option for for uh, is it Jimmy? Jimmy. Jimmy. Um, did he did he choose that? Or is that all in the sandy van? Every sandy van has some form of showering option. Okay. Um, both the Scout and the Social have a shower in the back, and then the Sport will actually have a shower inlaid in the floor underneath the Murphy bed. So when you're not sleeping, you can take a shower because you don't shower and sleep at the same time. Typically, 
uh, even though the layouts are three of them, right? So they all seem similar. Every single, from what I've seen so far, most of your lighting designs are all different. Yes, so that's, that's we have a premium lighting package and that's a, a situation where I get to sit down with the client and like they can kind of pick my brain, I pick their brain and we kind of come up with like a cool option. Uh, now that we have an in-house CNC machine, I can really get very creative with the lighting and yet again, not take six months to build your van because of a cool ceiling and i could get I, I want to do a really cool lightning design with you because i'm a lighting snob i love that so i absolutely a lot of my lighting inspiration not to toot your little horn over there jared <laughs> but a lot <laughs> of my lighting much. early on when i started building vans was based off one of your vans oh cool so, yeah thank you yeah thank you so really, much it's really cool to see you like what i do when i liked what you did to begin with like you said when we first walked in here lighting can literally make or break a van yeah th there's two different modes in this thing yeah. in-laws and strippers you know <laughs> what more can you ask for that might be my intro right there yeah right <laughs> <laughs> the galley you know the last sandy van i stepped in was actually a uh gas so, you know, propane style yeah, burner. Yeah, no more propane. Okay, we are only We are only electric. Um, we are working on getting certified um, to be an RV manufacturer. Okay. So that is one thing that is really messy, uh, propane. Your battery core is pretty small. It's pretty compact, which yeah. means you have storage in both of these, or you have water probably in one. Yeah, yeah, well, the, there is long storage underneath this as well. There is some good yeah. amount of storage, okay. Absolutely. Well, what I, my point is, is your power system is compact. How many, yeah. how many amp hours was it again? Uh, so it's a 412 amp hour system. You have 30 amps of charge from solar, uh, the car alternator itself, and then the shore power in the back. So with a 412 amp hour system, you're pretty much consistently receiving quite a few amps when you're driving and then when you're plugged in, definitely. Mm -hmm. I always recommend before you go on a big trip to plug in your van beforehand, just to- Charge it up. Just to charge it up to make sure you're not constrained on power, but this system does outstanding. Well, I, I love you guys are starting to incorporate induction. I, I am kind of with you. I kind of like an open flame. However, this is a lot safer. Um, obviously your fridge, cool. And you got a bunch of storage, unless you want to sh share with Yeah, something. I mean, we have this like pop-up outlet. People really like this. It's also a wireless charger. Um, we also have outlets inside the cabinets. Oh, this one actually has a Starlink. Oh, look at that. So yeah, this van, it looks- Was that an option too? Yeah, Starlink. Um, microwave, yeah. Microwave, yeah. These are all added options that the client wanted. And like, as you can see, this van doesn't look like it's got a lot, but it's got AC, it's got Starlink, it's got a diesel heater, hot water. Pretty much everything you need in a van. I'm in San Diego, I completely forgot about the heater. So you have a diesel heater in here. Yeah, right is... here, I build it right there. And I, I know you love the reason why I put it there. Um, we keep exhaust fumes on the driver's side of the van yep. um, because you, you don't want to run your exhaust all the way across or you don't want your exhaust on this side. So the people that put it underneath the passenger seat, a really easy way to install. I just don't recommend it. You will get some residual fumes coming in through the slider door. I agree with you wholeheartedly, obviously. Yeah. I mean, I love Sandy Vans. I think you guys have really been leveling up with every build that you do. I can't wait to see more from you. Is there something else you'd like to share with, with the audience? This whole back area turns into a bed. We didn't really talk about that. <laughs> I mean, I figured people yeah, yeah. would understand But that. you never know. Oh, I man. see the comments. So oh my God. This divider yeah. sits across these bed rails and then this table also drops down. So it leaves you a full, just under a king size bed actually. So yeah. pretty large sleep. I should actually find your own video and just, you know, overlay that of you laying of in Of me yours. laying yeah. in a drinking champagne. Yeah, <laughs> almost naked. This is some of my favorite wood. I think it's just really unique. It's a palm, I believe, right? Dura palm, yeah. Dura -palm. So it's uh it's it's ply boo. So it's just got a vertical grain carbonized core with a palm on top. Palm and tree. Palm tree. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I I personally I mean San Diego, you know, I, I love I love dark woods anyway, so I really like the Dura Palm, and it's insanely hard. Like it's a very hard wood. So as far as like having it for counters and tables and stuff, it does not damage very easily. Yeah, I mean, I heard you like hard wood, so it works out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. Yeah, dude, you set me up yeah. pretty good. All right, so is there anything? Uh, I don't know anything else you want? I want to share with there's lots. I mean, thank you for going over the bed. I'm an idiot. And I completely forgot about that. Well, yeah, I'd like to explain to people, I apologize if this tour wasn't as informative about the build as much as it could be. Jared and I are really good friends. Uh, we haven't seen each other in a while. Also, all the information that you need is on sandyvans.com. 
you contact my sales department, they will walk you through the whole build process, talk to you about everything you need to know. But this is just to showcase one of our builds, what we offer as a company, and I really appreciate you, Jared, uh, giving me the opportunity to show hey, man. everybody what I've been working on, because I haven't been working on my own YouTube, and I'm sorry, but I've been really busy here. That's okay. Uh, I have no idea what I did with the lighting, but all of a sudden, it's bright as all hell in yeah, here, and I love it. There Thank you go. And now you look all pretty. Sweet. I mean, I love this right here. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how it happened either, <laughs> but are we doing anything? Are you and I doing something? Yeah, we'll go to Val's party. No, no, no. We Are you and I doing something in the van? Oh not, yeah, not so sexual. so yeah. Should we put this uh, put this blur out there? We can, we can put a feeler out there. So yeah, uh, let us know if you think Jared and I should collaborate on a van build together. We um, are. We're, we're gonna want to. We want to. I mean, well, I'm trying to let the people think that they're deciding, but uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll make them think that they're they're deciding this situation. Right. Um, I mean, pretty much. I don't know, man. I, what what layout should we do? I'm gonna. I'm leaning more towards Scout, but. I mean, if you like the Scout, like we could really have a lot of fun with that. The The core of the builds are all going to be pretty similar. That's right. what we do here. We're not going to do some crazy custom thing. We'll have a very crazy custom feeling thing. But as far as the cabinetry, it's all going to stay the same. Yeah. Colors, lighting, all that stuff. That's the stuff that we'll get you to and I are going to have fun with. with. Yeah. We'll oh, have, you and I are going to have fun with that. Absolutely. Especially with that big CNC and countertops. The, in the shop. Yeah. We're going to have a, you know, it's gonna be fun. All right, guys, check them all out, sandymans.com, and I'll see you still. Stop. I'm gonna see you soon, buddy. I yeah, can't wait. Yeah, I we're can't gonna wait. go have beers right now. Let's go. All right. <laughs>